Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Coronation Street star confirms we're glad to be back as Rover's return is set to reopen Coronation Street residents have been left wondering where to drink after the Rover's return was shut down and taken over by a new company. Coronation Street star Jody Pranger joined the Loose Women panel to discuss the exciting news of the Rover's return reopening. In recent scenes, Jenny Connor, played by Sally Ann Matthews, and Daisy Midgley, Charlotte Jordan, recently stole Stephen Reed's, Todd Boyce, hidden money to rebuy the pub. The pair decided to keep the money a secret from Carla Connor, Alison King, as it was originally hers to begin with. Daisy was adamant about being named co-owner on the papers, but Jenny explained that she could only do that if it was a secret, and her name would be above the door. Jody joined Christine Lampard, Linda Robson, Gloria Hunniford and Kelly Bryan where she excitedly revealed that the Rover's return will be reopening on New Year's Eve. Christine asked, that's what the Rover's is all about and we need it back in our lives, tell us, will the doors be opening again? She confirmed, the doors will be opening again. It is so sad because when you are not filming on it, I really really miss it. But it has had a refurb and it looks beautiful, looks really warm and homely, and yeah, we are all glad to be back. New Year's Eve, a great way to see it in. Linda asked who Jody's dream landlady or landlord would be, and she admitted, I would say Julie Goodyear just to be in a scene with her. I did work with her recently and she was everything I imagined and more. Despite the residents of Weatherfield being overjoyed with the reopening of the iconic pub, producer Ian McLeod recently opened up about the rough time ahead for Jenny and Daisy. He told Express.co.uk and other press, the tease would be that we don't want it shut for that long, it is almost a character in its own right, the Rovers. Closing it has almost felt like a death I think, it is almost a bigger deal for me really as the people who have met their sticky end at the hands of Stephen Reed. The idea that the pubs boarded up was horrifying and even walking up the lot and seeing that was like a dagger to the heart so it is not going to stay closed for that long. In fact, it reopens on New Year's Eve I think, but the interesting thing about it is the circumstances of it becoming open again are all tied up with Stephen's legacy. Somebody will do something at best naughty, at worst slightly criminal, to get their hands on the keys to the pub and reopen it. So it will reopen, but it will be based on the slightly shaky foundation of a criminal act, shall we say. I suppose the viewers will be wondering okay the pub is open, but what disaster will befall the person that has allowed that to happen? Because it is all based on this misdeed that they have committed towards the end of the year. We didn't want it to just open up again like nothing had ever happened. We wanted it to open up with this buried bomb underneath it that will explode later on in the year.